This video was brought to you by the Jack L. Hill Lifelong Learning Center, located in the Norman F. Feldheim Central Branch of the San Bernardino Public Library. Please subscribe, and if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. It's Miss Gale coming to you from San Bernardino Public Library, Jack L. Hill Lifelong Learning Center. Today we're going to continue with our series. This one is Cows to the Rescue by John Himmelman. You might remember that he's our author illustrator. That means that he wrote the book and he drew the pictures. And we're going to say a special thank you to Scholastic by special arrangement with Henry Holt and Company. Now, you may remember these are special books, so when I point to you, I'm going to need for you to help me out with this. So this one is Cows to the Rescue. Let's try it out. Here we go. Cows, Cows to, to the, the Rescue. rescue. Alright, so we're going to start off here with Cows to the Rescue. And let's try it again. Cows, Cows to, to the, the Rescue. rescue. Alright, it was the day of the county fair. At seven o'clock, Farmer Greenstock could not start the car. Cows to the rescue! Thanks for the lift, said Farmer Greenstock. At nine o'clock, Jeffrey was sad that he was the only one signed up for the three-legged race. Cows to the rescue! You all deserve first place, said Jeffrey. At 11 o'clock, Ernie the duck got all muddy before the handsomest duck Contest. Cows to the rescue! Quack, said Ernie. I'm sorry, what did Ernie say? Quack. Quack. At one o'clock, Mrs. Greenstock couldn't find her family to pose for funny pictures. Cows to the rescue! <laughs> Great on my refrigerator, said Mrs. Greenstock. At three o'clock, Emily wanted to go on the Ferris wheel, but she was too afraid. Cows to the rescue! <laughs> that wasn't scary at all, said Emily. At five o'clock, Jeffrey learned that the pigs hadn't studied for the smartest pig contest. Cows to the rescue! <laughs> Oink, said the pigs. Wait, what did the pigs say? Oink. Very nice. At seven o'clock, everyone was exhausted. Even the cows were too tired to walk all the way home. So what happened? Maybe there's another piece to this story. The end.